you want to start off with a white ball of clay. You want to cover that entirely with red. It doesn't need to be exact. You can even patch up any holes. Once all the white is covered, keep rolling that into your hands until you don't have any more seams. Now what you want to do is cut it in half. If you feel like the clay is too soft from rolling it in your hands, you can put it in the refrigerator for 10 minutes. Now with the nail daughter, I'm poking indents into the white part. Now take some red clay and you want to make a bunch of tiny little red balls. If you want to make this more realistic, you can make these balls a lot smaller. Now you want to place the little balls in the indents that were made and you want to put them in groups so it looks like you cut it an actual pomegranate in half. At this point you want to insert the head pin. If you are using an eye pin, go ahead and wait to the very end. For the top, I am rolling three little tiny pieces of clay and I'm making one end pointy. And then I'm going to put them all together, roll them up just a little bit, cut that off, and just stick it on the top. If you feel like it's not sticking for you, you can add a little bit of TLS and it will stick as soon as it's baked. And at this point you want to bake the charm. After it's, entire, after it's baked and cooled, you can glaze the entire charm or what I am doing here is I'm only glazing the inside. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe.